Abigail. Are you really dead? <laughs> Alright, we're good. They're gone. <laughs> Remember how Dad said whoever gets married first gets all the inheritance? Well, unlucky for you, peanut butter kills people. Okay, we go on and eat. Okay. Thank you. Also, the coolest part is that your fiancé is now my fiancé. <laughs> Come on. Let's get to the hospital to get rid of the body, huh? long to answer your phone. I was so worried about you. Where are you? I'm in the hospital. A hospital? What What do you mean? What happened? Molly, I almost died. Chloe and Kyle, they've been in cahoots for ages. They, they tried to kill me with peanut butter for the inheritance. Let's figure out a way to get back your rightful inheritance. What? I got it. I gotta get you married before Chloe. No, Grandpa, you need to rest, like the doctor said. Okay. James told me that you don't want to marry Rebecca Davis from CM Company. Now that is nonsense. Our company's in a financial crisis and we urgently need an injection of funds. Marriage is the best option. When your parents died, I've secretly been training you as the heir. And you need to be married to take over the company. Now don't disappoint me. Sir. The CEO wants to know if you're going to marry Miss Davis. I... Rebecca's arrogant. Oh, I know what game CM is trying to play with me. Because once I marry her, I'll be under their thumb. This needs to be addressed. Where is she? She's meeting a friend at the Sunshine Cafe this afternoon. Black shirt, looks about 6'5", handsome. This must be him. I know a handsome model who is tied on cash and might need a place to stay. I'll arrange for you to meet, then you can negotiate contract marriage. Are you Henry Harris? Uh, I'm Molly's friend, Abigail Mason. I'm here for the contract marriage, the fake marriage. What is she talking about? Fake marriage? Sir? Did you, did you say marriage? Um, yeah. Didn't Molly explain it all to you? Time is urgent. If you don't mind, I'm hoping that we can get married tomorrow. It seems she's mistaken me for someone else who wants to get married. Look, I know that it's a lot to ask, um, so I completely understand if you're not interested. Um, no hard feelings. Yes. Tomorrow it is. According to the agreement, I'll support you, and you will play the husband in public. After a year, I'll get the inheritance, and we'll divorce. And if either one of us wants a divorce before the year is up, we have to compensate the other. You got a deal? James, what's up? Sir, you still haven't contacted Miss Davis. She's mad and said she wouldn't see you unless you begged. That's even better. I want CM out of our hair anyway. What? 
Are you saying you want to turn against her? Even if you don't marry her, you still have to be married to take over the Sanchez group. I am already married. I am already married. What? Where did you get a wife? It was fate, actually. She mistook me for someone else. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, fine. Uh, is this your car? Molly said that you were poor. Uh, no, it's, uh, my friend let me borrow it because he found out we were getting married, so. Huh. Yeah. Looks expensive. <laughs> Thank you. Sometimes here. Uh. So, um, where to? Um, I think um, I want to keep my promise and take you out to a meal. That sounds good. Two tacos, please. Thank you. I can't remember the last time I even ate one of these. Really? Yeah. This one's my favorite. You gotta try it. Grandpa, I really don't like bees. In this house, it's not about what you like. It's about what you need. As a Sanchez, don't succumb to desires. I understand. Now eat your peas. Even with food, I've never had the freedom to choose for myself. You have to take big bites for it to be good. It's pretty good. Yeah. He had a little something in your mouth. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> this was good. Thanks. Um, I'll take you home. Yeah, that'd be good. Glad you liked them. Oh. Say hello to the heiress of this house. Today I'm gonna change the owner and myself. Are you okay? Um, I'm gonna make a quick phone call. Okay. James, my wife is Abigail Mason. I need you to look into her for me. What? Those assholes are actually stealing the house? Can you lend me some money? Or else Henry's gonna have to sleep on the streets tonight. Oh. Something came up, so I won't be able to stay with you. Oh, okay. Great. At least I don't have to arrange his accommodations tonight, but what about tomorrow? Can I get my house back then? Sir, we figured it out. Miss Mason's stepsister and fiance have teamed up to try to kill her to steal her father's inheritance. What? They're doing whatever it takes to make sure that her father's house becomes theirs. Time to teach him a lesson. <laughs> uh. Okay, but I'm so glad it worked out. Mm -hmm. Now that the hospital has taken care of her body, we just wait until the house is ours. I'm sure everything will work out. House where we are soon enough. Cheers, baby. Cheers to you. Abigail, since we're married, I'll help you get back with your room. You idiot. You handed Kyle the Sanchez group on a silver platter.
Also, don't tell Chloe and Kyle that you're still alive and married. Also, come after you. You got it. Well, I'll, I'll be careful. It's Henry. He wants to meet. How am I supposed to tell him he has nowhere to stay? I'll give you some money first, and then you guys could stay at a hotel tonight, okay? Oh my God. Thank you. We'll figure out the rest later. How are things with you and Henry? He's, he's great. You aren't getting too close, huh? No, just doing business. Anyways, Henry has a lot of women around him. Even if it's your real, you need to think it through. You're so useless, Kyle! Couldn't even make me the owner of the house! Babe, come on, don't be mad. Look, we got the keys, Abigail's dead. It's only a matter of time before this house is ours. Alright? Come on. It's such a nice house. Alright? My dad actually put that bitch's name on the deed. I know. Uh, Every time she would invite me over, all I could think about was you. Now, this house is ours. Come on, let's check it out.